All right, the cat's out of the bag. What does that even mean? I know what you're thinking. Who's this guy that looks like he just got a perm and why is he running around flaunting all this expensive camera gear telling people that it's okay to take time off to explore the things that they love? And the truth is, I don't spend a dime on my camera gear. Matter of fact, I get paid to use it. Now before I just go around divulging the secret to becoming billionaires, here's a message from our sponsor. Yep, still me. Probably will be for a while, so if you like this video, make sure you like it. If you didn't, let me know why below so I can fix it. Subscribe, hit that bell. If you're new around here, uh, this is my year off and I'm showing you what I'm up to every week. So, you know, you stick just, around. Can you go um, I gotta go make some more money for the next adventure. Okay. See ya! Back to the video. All right, here's the secret sauce. It's pretty simple. I don't own any of my camera gear. Let's say I've got a gig coming up. I'm shooting a wedding tomorrow. For travel plans, or a friend wants to shoot something. Prior to that date, I'll start scouring Craigslist photo and video section for a used camera body. I have my favorites, Canon for photo, Sony for video projects, but I'm open to anything I can get my hands on. The more specific my wants, the more time I'll need to find one used. Which brings me to my next point. Why does anybody buy anything new? Do your due diligence on used items so you don't get gouged for no reason. That goes for anything. I like Craigslist because prices aren't fixed. Check what similar used cameras are going for on eBay, and then make a cash offer and meet at a public place for everyone's safety. And use common sense on Craigslist. The weirdos are overtly weird. After you've used the camera to your heart's content, sometimes it's literally for one shot, and sometimes things stay more permanently in my arsenal. Go ahead and list it for sale in the same way you bought it. If you don't want to do that, turn to eBay, Facebook, or OfferUp. Henry, no problem. Nice to meet you. Uh, and if you're a tough negotiator, you can actually stand to make money in this way and get paid to use camera gear. Doesn't that beat buying stuff new or renting? Like, subscribe, share if you found this useful. This is essentially how I do what I do. It's all in the execution. Now, as for how I got the money to buy that first camera, well, that's a longer story for another time and I've got a plane to catch. See you next week.